So in the last episode, I made you all witness our road trip from Gangtok to Guwahati, and yes, introduced all the characters of this story. So it's time to take forward and continue with the story. In this very episode, I will take you all straight away from Guwahati to Kohima, where we had our first encounter with the Hornbill Festival. In between this trip, we made a night stop at Dimapur. Before heading for Nagaland, uh, I had done an online research regarding the festival, and uh, what I found out was mostly all available footages were of daytime, which made me think of shooting the night environment of this festival. Don't worry, I will be including some daytime shots as well. Good morning, guys. Right now I'm in Guwahati. Oh. Uh, since last night, I'll give you a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a breakfast bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit So we are leaving this lovely property over here in Guwahati. Eh? The stay was very good. The, everything was good about this apartment. And you guys can come over here if you are staying at Guwahati and if you are looking for a place in Guwahati to stay for a night or two. I will here in Guwahati. And now straight to Dimapur. Okay guys, it's about to be 12 o'clock. After a sleep deprived night courtesy my bed partner's snoring which sounded like somebody sawing logs with a chainsaw. We got ready to set off for our next pit stop Dimapur. This incident made me ponder about how his better half must have tolerated till today. I will leave up to you guys to guess about the culprit. Kindly mention the name in the comment section. Do you know? Do you know? Do you set. Do you know? 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 Do you I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to Busy shooting the sunset. Get out of the damn After a seven hour journey, uh, we all reached Dimapur. 
Coincidentally, I landed up in the same hotel where I had stayed last year. Some events in life are really unpredictable like this one for me. That very night we went to meet some Naga friends from Dimapur and came back to the hotel. Next day that is uh, on the 9th of December we were set to travel towards Kohima and the duration was a 2 hours drive from Dimapur. As a result uh, we went to explore a local market at Dimapur which was exactly like the Hong Kong market at Siliguri. The market was vastly spread which made us feel that uh, we can get lost while on our way back. But luckily, uh, with the help of ever helpful few Naga locals, we made it back. Inside this market, we were in search of some specific Naga crockeries for Lake Zhang's restaurant back home. Luckily, the place was found where those crockeries were available, but it was not readily available as the required numbers were high. So after a discussion with the seller, Leggy placed his order and the seller, which happened to be a Naga woman, promised to deliver those back to Sikkim. We all got so busy within the market as a result, we started around 2 for Kohima. Just as we reached outside of Dimapur, uh, the view was so enthralling that I couldn't hold myself from taking a drone shot. So witness the drone shots on the way to Kohima. Now for almost two hours on the road and finally we reached Kohima around 5 pm. The stay for tonight was at a newly opened homestay a little bit outside Kohima named Fair Heaven. Thanks to Zubi for the same. Finally reached our stay for tonight. It's a little bit on uh, like in the outskirts of Kohima. And just reached over here. Homestay. Oh, yes. How was your trip? Oh, good, eh? yeah? Yeah. Good, good. yeah, good. Compared to the previous trip. <laughs> <laughs> your guest house is down there, so oh. I'll take you. Okay. okay. Just, just, just take a bag. Then pop us on So it's like this. <laughs> I think the building which you are seeing in the screen. That's the homestay. It's almost five o'clock, right? Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> almost five, 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 five. Though it was already dark, we weren't in a position to miss anything. So after freshening up, we set immediately towards Kisama village, which was almost forty-five minutes away from our homestay. It was already dark upon reaching the spot. Firstly, we went towards the stall area where various types of ethnic jewelries and craftsmanship was displayed. I was thrilled to see such beautifully crafted local articles and about the jewelries and ornaments, it was like a unique and huge variety. Since uh, we all were hungry, uh, we were lucky to discover the food stall of one of the tribes and we all started to taste the various Naga delicacies available over there. Strange of all was the snails, <laughs> which tasted like eating liver intestines of the chicken. Not forgetting to mention that it was tasty too. Still exploring the place, we came across the Morang of the Ao tribe and there we saw a boat-like structure where all locals and the tourists were making strange sounds and side by side beating a baton against the structure. 
After asking one of the local guys, the custom behind the tradition was that their forefathers used to cut and bring along the head of their enemies and dumped the head inside the boat-like structure. After that, they used to rejoice for their victory by beating the baton against the structure filled with enemies' heads. Quite strange, but unique. Every place has their own unique customs and it is because of these times that ma makes me really wonder about how really beautiful our earth is. This is rice beer. Oh, oh, oh. Lo, abo, on bill ma, keda dinner, attack. He's the main player. <laughs> Second player. Movie comedy on chai, whisky party endo. Yo, yo, chike yo, yo, chike yo, yo. With hot player. Yo, that's a legend do. We have come to the end of this part of the story and next episode I'll be showing you guys our visit to the Kohima War Cemetery area and the closing ceremony of the 23rd Hornbill Festival. Till then, don't trouble your parents and see you all in the next episode of this story and bye bye.